Number 48, letter A. How many kilograms of water must evaporate from a 60 kilogram woman to lower her body temperature by 0.75 degrees Celsius? All right. So uh, basically what we need to do is, well, let's first identify what we know, right? We know the mass of a woman. So the mass of a human or a person, whatever you want to call it. I was starting to use the term human down here. So we'll just call M sub H for human. Um, we also know the change in temperature of that human, change in temperature of the human. We also know the specific heat of a human. All right. That's looked up in the table. So just knowing those three variables, what can you calculate? You can calculate the heat energy transfer, right? Which is technically, as I described in number 47, a delta Q. I would actually take a look at that problem. Um, I, I do think, especially the beginning, if you don't watch the whole thing, that's fine. But the beginning, I talk really a lot about this formula over here. And uh, I, th I think it would be very helpful. Um, so basically now all I need to do to find the change in heat, basically, which I can call delta Q, but I'm going to leave it out. Uh, if you take a look at that video, like I said, it'll make sense. The mass here is going to be 60 kilograms. The specific heat is 3,500. And then the change in temperature is going to be, it's going to be lowered, right? So the, the final should be less than the initial, and therefore this should be negative. But, you know, don't, the sign here just represents the uh, way if heat's being gained or lost. It doesn't really mean that it's negative energy. There's no such thing as negative energy. So 60 times 3,500 times then negative 0.75. Just like there's no such thing as negative mass, right? Either you weigh something or you weigh nothing. And there's, all right, the, all those physical quantities, there's either zero of it or there's something. So this is negative 157,500. And that is in terms of uh, joules. So that's the amount of heat energy that's actually lost, okay? So that's the change in, in uh, energy. So now this change of an en uh, this change of energy is coming from, and they're asking us. Uh, basically, they're saying it's coming purely from evaporation. All right. So um, I have to figure out then the kilograms of water that are necessary. So I realize, well, if I'm talking about a phase change and I'm talking about evaporation, I'm going to be thinking about that formula up there on the top. Okay. So let's put that now over here. So this is really, I mean, this is getting a little confusing, confusing in terms of the organization. So this part one. Part two is basically now Q is equal to ML sub V. So we know the heat energy change. You can leave it as negative if you want. It really doesn't matter, okay? But if you leave this negative, then you want to plug, you know, this in as a negative just so it makes, you know, sense. You can also plug this just in as a positive, actually, because technically whatever is being lost by the body is then being gained by this uh, water in order to evaporate it. So that's technically the right way to do it. Anyway... Let's just solve this bad boy for mass. So this is mass is equal to Q over LV. And if this is the amount of heat energy lost from the body, then that energy has to go somewhere. Well, it's going into the water in order to evaporate it. So that is the Q now in this part of the problem. So that's 157,500 divided by then the latent heat of vaporization. That's either memorized, you got to look that up on the table. That's 2256, but that's in kilojoules. Remember, you need it in joules. All right, to find then the mass. Uh, so here we go. Ready? So this is going to be uh, then divided by 225, 2256, And we get about uh, 0, 0, 0, 0.0698, right? 698. That is in terms of kilograms, okay? And that would be the answer. They wanted it in kilograms, all right? And then letter B... What are they saying here? Is this reasonable amount of water uh, to evaporate in the form of perspiration? Uh, okay, so I guess the best thing to kind of do would maybe, you know, this is the mass of the water that's evaporating, but sometimes, right, we, we want to know the size, so to speak, of that mass, right? Because sometimes when we just say the mass, we don't really know, you know, is how dense, depending upon the density, it might be a little volume, a lot of volume, and then we can kind of wrap our head around this. So why don't we convert that into a volume, that means we need to know the density of water. That would equal the mass of the water divided by the volume of the water. And uh, the density of water, you know, is about a thousand, right? It's about a thousand kilogram per cubic meter. So then this, the mass here is in kilograms, so that's fine. So there's going to be 0 0.0698 or so divided by then the volume of the water. 
Solving for volume of the water, we would basically take that answer we found and then divide it by 1,000. Don't really know why I need a calculator for that, but whatever. So this is going to be 6.98 times then 10 to the minus fifth, but that is in cubic meters. Okay, now that still might be, well, what does that even look like? Why don't you convert this into liters? All right, then just basically divide it by 1,000. I could have simply used the value of 1 in here. All right, I could have saved just step. But take that value and divide it by basically 1,000. And this becomes now 6. I'll just put it in decimal form. Okay. Uh, well, actually 6.9. I mean, it's just going to be this value, right? I mean, we have it up there already. So let's just do that. Point zero six nine eight. 698 liters. And what is that? That still might be, well, this is about, right, about seven hundredths uh, of a liter. So in terms of milliliters, this might even give you a little better idea. This is about 69.8 milliliters. And this is really kind of nothing. You know, in terms of if you just think about that amount, that volume of water, um, you know, I'm trying to think of probably what that would be equivalent to. I think in, you know, one of those Poland spring bottles, I think, right, right? Isn't there, isn't that like 500 milliliters? So you're talking about like almost a, a tenth of the bottle? I think that's fairly reasonable. All right. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and we will see you, well, or talk to you uh, in the future. Take care.